and welcome along. And as you saw in introduction, we're going to be looking at this today. This is the GameSir VX Aimbox multi-platform console adapter. And essentially what it is, is this box here will allow you to use a keyboard and mouse with a console. And today we're specifically focusing on the Nintendo Switch. So to be able to use a keyboard and mouse with a Nintendo Switch, and it is fantastic. And it's by far the easiest one and the easiest one to to configure the way that you want it. So I love it. I absolutely think it is absolutely brilliant if that's what you want to do. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this video down to a few sections. The first being frequently asked questions. Then we're gonna look at connecting it to the Switch. Then we're gonna go and do a little bit of default gameplay in Creative on Fortnite, just to show you what it's like default. Then we're gonna go through the app as well. And then we're gonna go into a match of um, Fortnite. So if you look along there, there's like links to all the where, where all those bits on the videos are. If you can, if you could just stick around and listen to the, the frequently asked questions, I'd really appreciate it because I guarantee you'll have a question and there's questions that get answered loads in the, my other keyboard and mouse adaptive videos that I'm going to answer here for you. Okay, so let's crack on then with the frequently asked questions. The number one question I get asked on any of the other adapters is, do you need an adapter? And the simple answer is yes. You can plug a keyboard and mouse into a dock but the mouse won't work and the keyboard will just serve the purposes of typing. So if you want to use a keyboard and mouse to game, you need an adapter such as the Aimbox. Does it work with any other consoles? Yes, it does. As I said, we're specifically focusing on the Switch today, but it also works for the Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PlayStation 4 and 5, although 5 it is for only backwards compatible games and for the Nintendo Switch. Another question is, is it cheating? Well, yes it is. You are getting an unfair advantage using a keyboard and mouse on a Nintendo Switch. Having said that, a lot of the other consoles, Xbox and PlayStation, are starting to use natively keyboard and mouse. So it's going that way. If you don't like the idea of keyboard and mouse, I think you might need to get used to it because I think it's gonna become more and more prevalent. Also, will it work with any keyboard and mouse? Okay. The answer is, it should do. I can't be sure for every keyboard mouse because I haven't tested it, but I've been using it with the Logitech G203 and the Logitech 213 um, mouse and keyboard, and they work fine. So I know that if you use the keyboard mouse that I use, it will work 100%. For everything else, it should do. I just don't know, unfortunately. The other question is, will I get banned? Well, I can't say you won't get banned, but when you connect this to the Switch, it thinks you're using a Pro Controller. It doesn't think you're using a keyboard and mouse, so it doesn't know that you're using a keyboard and mouse. Also, will it work with any game? Yes, it works with absolutely any game if it runs on the Switch. If it runs on the Switch, it, you can use it with this because it thinks you're using a controller. So Fortnite, Overwatch, Minecraft, it works for them all. Okay, so here we are then. I've got my Pro Controller connected, but like I was saying, you don't need a controller connected for it to work, but it just makes it easier for this bit. And what the first thing you're going to do is you're gonna go into settings. You're gonna go down to controllers and sensors and just make sure that Pro Controller wired communication is set to on. Okay, so once that's on, that's all you need to do. And then come out of it, and I'm going to disconnect the Pro Controller now. And the easiest way to do that is go to there to change grip order. And as you can see, this isn't connected, so we've got nothing connected. Now I'm gonna get my keyboard and mouse. As I said, I use the Logitech G203. And the keyboard, the G213. And with the adapter, this is the beauty of this thing, as you can see the icons there. You can plug the mouse or the keyboard into that one or the mouse or the keyboard into that one. It doesn't matter which way you put it and it doesn't matter which way up or down it goes. So for example, I've got my mouse USB here. I can plug it in that way. If I didn't like that, or plug it in, turn around, plug it in that way. It goes in both ways. So it doesn't matter, it's easy. Plug it in and away it goes. Okay, so I'm just gonna be, for easy sake, I'm gonna plug the keyboard into that one and the mouse into that one. So the mouse into that one, and the keyboard into that one, and then I'm going to tidy up the desk. Okay, I've got it a little bit tidier now. Um, as you can see, I've got my keyboard and mouse here, and we've got the adapter here, so the keyboard and mouse are plugged into there. As I say, you don't need anything plugged into this bit, that's only for PlayStation and Xbox. And 
the end of the adapter, all you do is you poke that into one of your USB slots on your dock and then it starts flashing and lighting up. That means it's powering up. And as you can see, the mouse is lighting up, the keyboard's lit up and it's already connected. Okay, and I didn't do anything. You just have to plug it in. There's no playing about with controller two. You just plug it in and it connects it. I know that the space is A, so I'm gonna hit A, and then I know that is B, I'm gonna hit B, and we're on the home screen here. Okay, that is literally it on how to connect it. It is so simple. Keyboard and mouse in there, either way, either way up, plug it into there, and this lights up, those two light up, and you've connected. As you can see, there's lights on the top here. This button here just changes the lights, so you can have different colors if you want. I haven't actually found any other reason other than just the, the colors, but I just keep it on the, the, the breathing one because I like that the most. Okay, so next up, we're gonna dive into a bit of creative and we're just gonna show you the default settings. Okay, I have literally just dived into a game of creative just so I can show you the default settings. And if I get landed here. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you. So this is default. I haven't changed anything on this. I haven't updated any of the kind of key binds or anything like that. Um, and one of the major things was, is the mouse sensitivity that was a bit of a pain with a couple of the others. You had to play about with the sensitivity a lot. Sometimes it didn't work. This thing's default. Look, it's fantastic. So about 180 degrees is about 10 centimeters or so. I think this is fantastic. As it is default, it's great. I didn't need to change anything and I was able to, because there's a there's pulling in and out. It's fantastic. It really, as default it goes, I think it's superb. And I don't think I needed to change anything to get going straight away with this. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm going to show you how to set it up and change the keybinds via the app. Okay, once we've had a bit of a play about with that, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and change a few of the settings on the keyboard and mouse. And the way you do that is by using the app. So if you go and download the GameSir app, all you do is you load it up and you need to select the one that you want. These are all the GameSir products. We're obviously gonna be choosing the VX Aimbox. And then you hit connect and you have this presented. All you're gonna do first is you're gonna hit update firmware first, okay? You wanna make sure you are on the latest firmware. So I already am, which is fine. So once you've done that, then you hit modify. And this is where you can add profiles for different games, So because you can have profiles within the app. So you can have Knives Out, Fortnite, do whichever game you want. But as I say, we're gonna be focusing on Fortnite, so I've got the Fortnite profile at the top. Right at the top, this is where you select your console, so select that, you've got Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, or the Xbox Series SX. With PS4, it's also the PS5, but you need to use backwards compatibility for that. As we're focusing on the Switch, select the Switch, and then Fortnite, if you select that, it goes into landscape mode. And it's here is where all of the magic happens. So on the left, you've got Fortnite, and then new Fortnite, so you can have different profiles within the game. So we're just gonna stick with the main default profile. And then on the right here is a picture of the Pro Controller and all the buttons that it, that, it, that it correlates to. So for example, as you can see, A there is space. Then what you wanna do is you wanna modify. So let's say I wanted to change that from space and I wanted A to be on the return key. You go down to the bottom there, the key settings, you find A, which is that one. And then it says up there that A is the space. If you hit clear and then return, you've changed A now to be enter. But I don't want that, I want it to be back onto space. So I hit clear and then I hit space. And then all you do is you hit confirm and then use it now and it will have changed it within the game. So this is the beauty of this app. When you're, when you're changing things, it will change within the game without you leaving the game, without you leaving the software, without you leaving anything. It does it all on the fly. This is why it's so brilliantly genius. So on the left here, so we go down to configuration info, mouse, this is what I was saying. This is how to change it. So we've got mouse sensitivity. Let's whack that up to 100 and hit use it now. And then you'll see on that, look how sensitive it is. I mean, we can do 180 in about three millimeters. Okay, if you want it that sensitive, I don't know. But I don't want that. I want it to be, let's say, I want it to be all the way down to uh, 14. Use that now, and as you can see, it's a lot slower. Let's whack that back up to 50. 
use that now and then we're back to kind of the default so in this now you can change this the sensitivity smoothness curve invert the y-axis the ads switch ads hold the ads sensitivity delay joystick you can change the joystick the click the long press movement speed and the key settings as we've seen there's loads of configuration to be done with this app it's absolutely brilliant Okay, so one other thing as well is to set the settings on Fortnite as well. So we know tab here, we'll get onto our settings. And if we go over to here, and then if we tap along to here, to the wireless controller settings, this is where we can change our buttons for Fortnite, but then you'll need to change them on the keyboard. Does that make sense? So at the moment, jump is on B, which would be on this one. I don't want that. I want it to be on the custom one, which jump is now on A. So I know that the space is on A. So you've got a lot of tinkering, go into the Fortnite settings, make sure that all your settings are set up correctly there, then go into the GameStar app and just make sure that all your um, buttons, you're happy with that. Okay, so once all that's done, um, come out of that, and then all you're gonna do now is we're gonna go and jump into a game of Fortnite and I'm going to leave everything as default and I'm gonna go and see how we get on in a game of Fortnite. Okay, so here we are, and as I said, I've got everything, I've reset everything, I've got it completely used to default. So you can have a look. So if you didn't want to have to adjust any of this, you don't have to. So let's just see how we get on, shall we? Starting to laser lake. Let's go for it. As you can see, look, the sensitivity straight out of the box is fine. For me, I think it's a really nice sensitivity. That's that. easy to change weapons it's literally your index finger to change in the weapons there as you're running changing the weapons is on these two here I think it's it makes it so much quicker just flicking between the two as I said you can't set each button to each one but that's Fortnite settings that's nothing to do with the keyboard and mouse adapter Okay, so 
playing on a small screen, playing on default, I didn't think I'd do too badly there. Okay then, so I've gone through everything. I've gone through the frequent ask questions, how to connect it using the app, and we went to a bit of gameplay. Um, overall, this is by far and away the best keyboard and mouse adapter I think I've ever used uh, on the Nintendo Switch. I've used a few, I've been going around testing a few, and they've all worked okay. This one is brilliant just because of having the app and be able to change the settings on the fly using your phone. I don't think there's anything that can compare to it. I think if you are gonna be wanting to use a keyboard and mouse on the Nintendo Switch, this is definitely the one to get. I'll leave down links down below of where you can get hold of one. Go and pick one up if you want to do it and do hit me up with any, any questions you've got around this. I do hope um, I've answered them in the frequent asked questions. If not, let me know down in the question in the in the um, comments below. Okay then, that's it then. Please just click the thumbs up. Do think about subscribing and until the next video, I've been Console and Tech Accessories. Bye bye.